Well, Wednesday of Holy Week is traditionally called Spy Wednesday, since it was on this day that we commemorate how Judas conspired with the temple leadership to hand Jesus over. It's the content of the gospel, essentially. Judas was chosen and called to be one of the, the first priests, if you think of it, because we see in the call of the apostles the establishment of the ordained priesthood. But clearly, Jesus did not call perfect men. And let's just say that Judas didn't fare well in Jesus' mobile seminary. So on this Spy Wednesday, we pray especially for our priests. We who are your priests, we carry the treasure of the priesthood in these earthen vessels. As human beings, we struggle like you while trying to do our very best. And over the next few days, the sacred triduum, with great solemnity, we will recall and celebrate the passion and the death and the resurrection of our great high priest. My brothers can celebrating today with me from Regina Cleary residence and I, we share in this priesthood of Jesus Christ. We are always united with you in prayer. These good men, while retired, continue in a very real way to exercise their priesthood in many ways, in a particular way by their daily prayer for you, for the church, universal. And this week, I ask all of you to keep our priests in your mind, in your prayer, because they have labored for us for all of their lives, practically. And in a particular way, for those of you who are watching here in the Archdiocese of Boston, the Easter collection this coming Sunday is for our retired priests and for those who are sick. In a very tangible way, the clergy trust, which is independently managed, provides for the care and the support of our senior and active priests who are in good standing. It is our way, as the Catholic community here, of keeping in mind these good men, of providing for their health and well-being and their long-term needs. The men who have devoted their lives to us, simply put, to, to secure a, a future of care and compassion and dignity for our priests. If you want more information, just go to clergytrust.org clergytrust.org. And as we together pass through these holiest of days, recalling as we do once more the events of Jesus' betrayal, his passion, his glorious resurrection, may God allow you to be changed by these moments of prayer that we share this week.